So recently, I walked into Daiso, I think it is. Daiso? Don't know. It's, it's wait, Daiso, which is an interesting Japanese three dollar ten shop. And I found lots of art supplies, which fascinated me. We have what is perhaps the best value drawing ink for three dollars ten. 180 milliliters of ink for three dollars ten it's perfect for like paint brushes and dip pens even if you clean the dip pen afterwards it's, it's pretty good stuff you know do not put it in a fountain pen though that's uh real bad news speaking of fountain pens i also got a fountain pen from Dezo for three dollars ten that will be interesting and there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, some silicon drinking straws. That is not an art supply. So first, let's have a look at this selection of interesting brush pens I found. I mean, there were many more available there, but these were the three that I found the most interesting. Like, for one thing, they've got, like, pretty good brand names on them, some of them. Like, this one's made by Zebra, apparently, for $3.10. I don't know if Zebra makes... This pen exclusively for Daiso, but... Daiso? Daiso? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. And there's another brush pen here, too, made by Platinum. Okay, you know, the same company that makes this, that fancy Platinum Carbon Black Pigmented Fountain Pen Ink. So let's have a look at the Zebra. That actually feels very nice. It looks like it has one of those food kind of pen tips on the end of it. And it actually does have Zebra branding on it as well. Although I have no idea what make or model number it is. WF1, Japan. That actually feels really good. That's capable of a really thin line. A very thick line as well. Do you know when a brush pen feels like uh, a bit fibrous? This does not have that feeling. It's more of a flexible slightly rubbery smooth feeling feels very good this pen I, I like it yeah but I wonder does this pen have a pigmented ink or a dye base ink that's what I want to know because I'm kind of fussy about that so here's a water brush let's test this out on the water brush if it's a dye based ink it should dissolve really really quickly and what? Come on, this is it dry? Must be dry. Just get some water on here. Unbelievable! What? It's not dissolving at all. I expected this cheap pen to have a uh, a dye dye based ink in it. It's not not dissolving. I mean, does it say that it has a a pigmented ink in it on the package? It, it might. I can't read Japanese. That's incredible. For three dollars ten, like I can easily pay five dollars or seven dollars just for one of these, the Tombow Food No Souk Australian dollars, of course, and uh, that's amazing. I, Okay, right. Well, thank you, Zebra, for making this pen. It's cheap, and it's very nice, and it's got pigmented ink in it. What about this one from Platinum? Is it, is it also just as good? Oh. It feels good. It feels really nice. Got a brush tip on it. It's got fancy, smancy stuff I don't understand on it. And nothing else. On this one, the brush tip comes down to more of a sudden point. Does it feel good? Oh yeah, it's a bit... Feels a bit dry, actually. And it's feeling better. The platinum one feels slightly more markerish, maybe? Feels quite smooth, though. I'm not sure, but I think the ink in the... Zebra pen may be slightly darker. Let's get the water off the paper. It's messing up the lines. 
you can make an incredibly thin line with the zebra pen like down to like 0 0.3 millimeters it feels like the platinum pen you can also make a reasonably thin line not terrible it's easy to make like something like 0 0.7 millimeters maybe and the tip is also a lot firmer than the zebra pen so it's easier to keep that 0 0.7 millimeter line you know but does this platinum pen come with a dye ink or a pigment ink like the zebra for example so let's give this a go get some water in here and see if the dye ink easily dissolves now that that's got to be that's got to be another pigmented pen amazing so i've just bought two pretty good quality pigmented brush pens for six dollars twenty that's almost like half price one of just one of these tombow ones okay the last brush pen this one does not have zebra or platinum on it it just says made in japan aha water-based dye ink the reason why i grabbed this one i found interesting because it has two uh tips on it brush tips how do i open this thing do i have enough intelligence to open the packet aha here we go i am okay right hmm interesting don't know what this is for so this one here it just feels okay it does feel cheaper it feels a lot cheaper and the plastic's got this like matte slippery finish about it these ones here are quite polished and for some reason polished plastic actually feels pretty grippy to my fingers that feels pretty good but this not so much so let's try the big brush yep it's a very hard kind of marker tip it doesn't have a lot of flex to it feels very fibrous you know but it is very inky very generous with the ink so that's something and the fine tip the fine liner yep feels like a pretty standard fine liner like a maybe a 0 0.5 millimeter fine liner now because this one is a dye based ink we can see the difference can't we between a pigment one and a dye based one yep look at that dissolves pretty quickly mm -hmm. I think the ink is the brush is getting dry oh yes that's certainly a dye based ink now you can get some interesting effects by doing that actually mm -hmm. so these two i'm very happy with the platinum and zebra one this one on the other hand i think but this jewel tip one i think i don't know a bit of a waste of money to be honest now let's try out this fountain pen I have tried many cheap fountain pens now but they've all been ordered directly from China I've never bought one in a store a brick and mortar store for so cheap okay feels pretty good it feels like the metal has some kind of plastic paint on it okay that actually feels really nice to hold it's that the grip section is a bit too thin for my liking does it post well it posts very well and even the uh, the cap doesn't even touch the sides of the barrel much either it says something like a, a brillo medium i have no idea what that is never heard of them now the first sign this pen gave me that's pretty cheap you know it's made to a price is when I unscrewed this thing, the feeling of this metal barrel section screwing off this plastic part felt really bad. Just felt really uh, yuck. But it's not like you do that every day. I haven't put one of these cartridges in for such a long time. I use a refillable one usually, a piston converter. Get in. There we. The cartridge barely fits in the barrel. Oh, there we go. And then you just have to uh, wait patiently until the ink comes out. Maybe it will come out one day. I'm not sure. Just be patient. 
just you know come on you know just spend some time there shaking it and not not too vigorously otherwise the ink will fly out you know maybe call a friend and ask them ask them how the weather's going or something while you're scribbling away getting this fountain pen to work probably looking at a vast collection of ballpoint pens you could be using wondering what you're doing with your life why what where did i go wrong why did i buy a fountain pen for three dollars ten have i not suffered enough did i desire suffering am i a machinist Okay, so far this fountain pen, I do not like it. I don't like how the script section just tapers down. It doesn't even flare out at the end, it just tapers all the way down to the nib. The barrel of the pen is a lot more comfortable to hold than the grip section. I don't like the way it feels. I mean, it feels acceptable, but it's, it doesn't feel amazing. But the number one thing I don't like about it is that it just doesn't seem to work. That's, that's my main gripe with it, you know? What purpose do you serve? Oh, oh, oh no, to make Dezo money. That's the purpose you serve. And it seems like you've already served that. So you don't feel the need to do anything more. <laughs> there is ink in there, isn't there? Oh yes, there's the blue ink. Why won't it go into the fountain pen part? Where did I go wrong? I think I bought this pen. That's where I went wrong. Oh, look at that. Amazing! It works! And then they took five minutes. Oh, look at that. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this is the best pen ever made. Feels pretty good. Oh, look, look at the lines. Oh, yeah. And now the nib feels... It feels actually quite acceptable now. Now it's got some ink underneath it. So now that I've been drawing with this pen for a little while, you know... It actually feels feels pretty good. I no longer have any legitimate complaints about it, except for this tiny, thin little pen grip. Okay, Dezo, that's not too Dezo, whatever you are. I don't know. That's a pretty reasonable fountain pen, you know. That's that's not bad. The ink is dye-based, just in case you're wondering. See, oh, look at that. Look at that dissolve. That looks pretty good actually. Oh yeah. That I can colour in with the fountain pen ink. Now these things really caught my eye. These enormously long bamboo-ish looking brushes. They're called calligraphy brushes. They must be for like some kind of Chinese, Japanese calligraphy. Man, there's some lot a lot of hair on those. It's not bamboo, this is actually a plastic tube. And I have no idea what these little string things on here are for. I'm going to dip the small one in some ink, and then I'm going to dip the big one in some ink. And oh, look, I got ink here. Does anyone want a big, hairy brush with very coarse hairs on it? Because this is the brush for you. These, these hairs are very coarse. Will I dare try out the big one? This will fill up this entire page in like two seconds. But let's do it anyway. Oh dear. That's a commitment now. Oh, it's too much ink. Oh. You know, for a brush that big, it comes down to a reasonably fine point. Okay, here we go. Big black. Oh dear. I can smell that sumi ink. It smells a bit earthy, you know. That's a real mess, that is. This uh, brush also seems to distort its shape a lot when it's wet. Whatever shape you've brushed it in, it'll just stay there. So, I thought these might be cool, but I'm, I'm not convinced, actually. I, I'm not convinced I, I like the thing. I mean, maybe I could like these brushes if I had, like, a giant canvas or something. And then I glued them onto the canvas and then called it art, yes. Yes, that, that's, that's what they'd be good for. Actually, you know what this brush slightly reminds me of it's not that bad but it reminds me of the brush that i made ages ago out of chicken feathers all these feathers so in conclusion these two pens here 
one from Platinum and the other one from Zebra, which you can buy from Daiso, are actually really good value and they're excellent. I think the Zebra one is probably my favourite, but the Platinum one is also excellent. This thing I found rather boring and average, really. The fountain pen is... it's an okay fountain pen. Not too many complaints. These things, I have no idea why they exist. Maybe they're designed to torture school children into learning calligraphy or something, I don't know. And this is the cheapest ink money can buy. And it's actually pretty good value as well. Okay, well, goodbye. See you later. Make art or whatever with this whatever. I don't know. Bye, bye, bye.